You may have heard of Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog, but what about Spit of Shrew? It sounds like another ingredient for a witch's brew, but the saliva from the small mammal may be exactly what cancer researchers have been looking for. Canadian scientists are trying it out as a test and treatment for breast, prostate, and ovarian cancers. Pauline Dakin has the story. It's just a rural back garden in Sackville, New Brunswick, but there's a chance it may have offered up a big contribution to the fight against cancer. The garden belongs to Jack Stewart. Ten years ago, he taught biochemistry at nearby Mount Allison University. He hadn't paid much attention to the shrews that live in his yard until someone asked him about shrew saliva, wondering how it paralyzes their prey. I went, that's odd. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> We decided to find out. Stewart spent several years trapping dozens of shrews. Eventually, he identified sericidin as the chemical in shrew saliva that causes paralysis, and he was able to synthesize it. He thought it might have an application as a pain treatment. During his research, he combined sericidin with a cell culture. It happened to be ovarian cancer cells. The peptide, aside from blocking nerve transmission, also blocked calcium going into the cancer cells. And initially it was a bit annoying because they died. <laughs> then a light bulb came on. <laughs> oh, they died. <laughs> it's a good thing in cancer. It's a good thing. It turns out a chemical or peptide in shrew spit has an anti-cancer effect, specifically against ovarian, breast, and prostate tumors. Stewart says the peptide targets a molecule that's only produced in cancer cells, not healthy cells, making it a potential diagnostic and treatment tool with, at least so far in animal tests, no side effects. A phase one trial in humans is about a year away. Stewart has left his teaching job and is now chairman and science advisor of Sarisimed Biopharma Inc., which is hoping to commercialize his discovery. At the laboratory of the Atlantic Cancer Research Institute, Dr. Rodney Ouellette is overseeing research on a number of potential cancer diagnostic tests, including sericidin. Ouellette is president and scientific director of the institute. He wants to be careful not to raise hopes too early, but he's been surprised at early test tube results with the peptide. It was a very profound effect on, on virtually all cancer cell lines that we tested. So from that point, we started looking at this in a, in a different way and saying, well, maybe this this is the real thing, maybe this can work. Well, it says human studies will determine whether the peptide could detect ovarian, breast, or prostate cancer cells in a blood test, maybe even a saliva or urine test. But he's seen many promising molecules fail. Still, sericidin has already beaten many odds. Only about 1% of potential cancer treatment candidates makes it to human testing. Pharmaceutical companies are knocking on Stewart's door. He'll probably be rich one day. And if sericidin lives up to its promise, if shrew spit can help detect and treat cancer, then this backyard shrew habitat will be where it all began. Pauline Dakin, CBC News, Sackville, New Brunswick.